Um, starting with uh, Caldwell Early College, at Caldwell, relations among students, teachers, and parents are so strong that the school's success in creating a culture of high expectations and high support could serve as a national model. And we'll look at that. The school has established a common language that engages students and that goes well beyond the expectations defined by state, beyond expectation defined by state accountability standards. And I think that speaks volumes. And so I congratulate Caldwell for that uh, level of commitment. You can't clap too much for these folk, uh, but forgive me, uh, you know, when young people operate the lights, they forget that old folk can't see quite as well. <laughs> Power, Health, and Life Sciences High School graduated its second class of seniors this year. Last year, 97% of the four-year cohort graduated. <laughs> I want to embarrass them into doing that. 97% uh, of the four-year cohort graduated on time. This year, 100% did so. Not only that, the 51 members of the class of 2010 earned an average of 41 and a half college credits. Talk about college ready. I'll go to the next one. Now, San Hope Early College is, I mean, I think I go to Randolph. 35 of Randolph Early College, 59 members of the class of 2010, the school's first graduating class, earned an associate degree. That's 60%. All 56 students who applied to college were accepted. Talk about college ready. Now, seniors at San Hope Early College in Rayford have to take an hour-long bus ride to the Pinehurst campus of San Gilles Community College, and they go there for their college courses. Despite the time and distance, their attendance rate in those classes was an average of 95%. Students are motivated to do that. The staff is dedicated. At San Hope, school, family, has real meaning. No one drops out at San Hope Early College. The School of Inquiry and in Life and Sciences was a pace seller last year among innovative high schools with a 91% overall passing rate of end of course exams. But what really sets the record apart is a culture where those kinds of test scores are more a byproduct of the kind of powerful teaching and learning that grows from strong collaboration among teachers and relevant and relevant project-based lessons than an end in themselves. Student engagement is strong. Dropouts and transfers are few. Graduation rates are high. So let's give a round of applause. And then finally, and certainly not least, Stanley Early College High School. Although a small school among small schools, Stanley is quietly having an oversized impact on the students who are fortunate enough to be a part of that school. One note about Stanley is that the fortunate also come to the school with fewer advantages than many others. Compared to the district's demographics, more of these students are likely to be black or Hispanic. More of them are likely to come from low-income families. Three quarters of them are from families in which neither parent graduated from college. But once in school, 
They are showing that real opportunity that comes from both high expectations and strong support can erase the kinds of gaps that too often separate students from different, from different races and social strata. While test scores aren't the focus of any innovative high school, Stanley made high growth on the state ABCs every year since it opened. All students contributed to that success. No less students from low-income families who account for 6% of the school's enrollment. Their overall passing rate last year, 86%. Just a few points, less than other students from other affluent families. All of this results is a, all of this is a result of a different kind of teaching and learning that the school has created through close collaboration among the high school faculty and the Stanley Community College. This, to me, <laughs> is an outstanding story, and one I think we not only marvel at, but one that we can be proud of that is a model for our state and a bar that we can all shoot from. Ball. Therefore, I'm proud to present the 2000 Innovative Award and the name of the recipient as Stanley Early Community Academy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> 